viewers, welcome to Shaki AutoCAD Tutorials. Today, I will show you how to use Absolute Method in drawing. We are fortunate to have our first sponsorship for this video, and I would like to call my lovely wife to do the advertisement. Thank you, Mr. Ellis. Today, our first advertisement is from Tampere Technical University. Faculty of Engineering, Mechanical Engineering Department. Have you been thinking about short courses in engineering with certification? Then look no further, because they offer courses in Process Control System, Analytical Process Control System, Thermal Process Control System, Hydraulics, and many more. Kindly contact 0240-212-333 or 0548-936 743. Our second advertisement is from Little Daisy Scratch and Daycare Center. They are located at Diabeni and they are open for kids 6 months to 5 years. Their environment is hygienic, they have qualified teachers and tutors that will take care of your little ones. They are still open for admissions in 2019 and if you need more information, kindly contact 020 512-5517 Thank you our sponsors and thank you viewers as well. Please don't forget to subscribe at the end of the lesson. Enjoy it. In our previous lesson, we used direct distance entry method and interactive to draw a line with a distance of 200 millimeters. Today, we use absolute method in drawing. And let's increase the shape to L. Let's say the distance from here to here is 200 millimeters. The distance here is 50 millimeters. This side is 130, 100, 150. And then our starting point is here, point one, point two, three, four, five, six. Absolute means X and Y coordinate. So in order to use absolute method to draw this, we need your table. So first of all, you have to draw your table. And this is how you go by it. So we have a point and then absolute. So don't forget absolute means X and Y coordinate. And over here, we have point one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one. Now, you can choose your own starting point. Your starting point can be zero comma zero, or it can be 10 comma 20, it can be 20 comma 30, but I will choose a starting point of 30 comma 40. It means 30 is the x axis and then 40 is the y axis. Let's see how you can fold the table using absolute method. Now, we have a simple formula for it. You see, in Cartesian plane, when you go to this direction, this is positive x axis, this side is negative x axis, up is positive y and then down is negative y. Now, our starting point is given, that is 30, 40. So at point two, what direction is this? It is positive x axis, and the distance is 200 millimeters. So come and add 30 plus 200, making 230. Then you bring your y axis, which is 40. And then point three, 
fourth direction is this. It is positive y axis, and the distance is 50. So 40 plus 50, making 90. And then this side is 230. And then at point four, what direction is this? It is negative x, and the distance is 130. So 230 minus 130, making 100. And then you bring your y axis. And then at point five, at point five, what direction is this? It is positive y axis, and the distance is 100. So 90 plus 100, making 190. And then you bring your x axis, 100. And point six, first of all, you have to look at the distance here. So the distance here is 200, and then this side is 130. So to know the distance here, you subtract 130 from 200. So 200 minus 130, which is 70. Now, at point six, what direction is this? It is negative x axis, and the distance is 70. So 100 minus 70, which is 30, and then you bring your y axis. And finally, point one, what direction is this? It is negative y axis, and the distance is 150. So 190 minus 150, making 40. And then you bring your x axis. So you can see clearly that in absolute, the first coordinate or the first point and the last point are what? The same. So if your first point and last point are not the same, please go and check your coordinates and do it again. Now, let's see how you can use AutoCAD 2020 to input this coordinate to get the shape as you can see on the board. With our AutoCAD launched, let's see how you can input your absolute coordinate to get the shape as you can see on the board. So at the command prompt, you first type line, L-I-N-E, and then you press enter. It will ask you to line specify first point. Your first point is point one. That is 30, 40. And then you press enter. It will ask you to specify next point. Your next point is point 2. That is 230, 40. And then you press enter. Your next point is point 3. That is 290, 90. And then you press enter. It will ask you to specify next point. So your next point is point four. That is 100, 90. And then you press enter. Your next point is point five. That is 100, 190. And then you press enter. It will ask you to specify next point. Your next point is point six. That is 30, 190. Then you press enter. Your next point is point one. That is 30, 40. Then you press enter. Now, when you are done, then you press escape. So, in order to see your drawing, we have this important command that is zoom and zoom extend. To zoom and zoom extend, you right click and you select zoom. You right click again and you select zoom extend and then you extend it to see your drawing. Now, let's check 
if truly this side is 200 millimeters this is 50 millimeters this side is 130 millimeters so you do your dimension star you click on dimension and you select dimension star to pop up dimension star manager then you click modify and then you have a symbols and arrow so click on symbols and arrow and by default the arrow side is 0 0.1800 it means this is inches but we are drawing it with metric that is millimeters so you change your arrow size to 10 and then you click on test and then change the test height to also 10 and then lastly you click on primary unit and then you select precision and you click on zero to the nearest whole number then you click on ok and then you close it click on dimension again and select linear and then you stand here drag it to the next endpoint and then you can see that this side is 200 millimeters press enter come and stand at this endpoint drag it to the next endpoint and then this is 50 millimeters you press enter you stand at this endpoint drag it to the next endpoint and then this side is 130 millimeters press enter you stand at the endpoint drag it to the next endpoint and then this side is 70 millimeters you press enter you click here drag it to the next endpoint and this side is 150 millimeters now as you can see on the screen we have input our coordinates to get the shape drawn <laughs>